Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hockey Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video here on the Hockey Regime channel. Today, doing Hall of Famer Deion Sanders, also known as Prime Time. And in these videos, normally the way I like to do things is just kind of go over the accolades of whatever player I'm doing in the video, in this case, obviously, Deion Sanders, and then continue and discuss what he's done in you know association with the game Madden which is the game that we're creating him on today and a little bit about you know his impact on football and just as a whole um, you know kind of how popular he is in Madden so starting out with Deion Sanders and his actual football career and what he did uh, in real life as opposed to Madden was become an eight-time Pro Bowl player actually was the is actually because of Devin Hester now the second place for is now is in second place for most return touchdowns in NFL history that's that accounts for fumble return touchdowns, interception return for touchdowns, uh, along with kick return and palm return touchdowns. He has a total of 19, and at the time, Devin Hester uh, surpassed that and jumped the night that 19 to 20. So um, obviously, Deion Sanders gave props to him, but it's still among the best return men in NFL history. That is, uh, Deion Sanders is. And uh, in this video, I did decide to put Deion Sanders with the Dallas Cowboys, as it was his second longest. Uh, tenured team in um, Dallas. He was there for five seasons along with Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta was his team he was drafted by and the team that he originally played five seasons with before he moved on to San Francisco for a year, won a Super Bowl with them and Steve Young, and then ended up going to Dallas the next year, stayed there for five years, ended up winning a Super Bowl with them against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and was a three-time first-team All-Pro in Dallas along with um, a, a one year in San Francisco and two years in Atlanta. So, you know, he's had an incredible career. And people often refer to Deion Sanders as one of the greatest athletes in NFL history and in history in general because of the fact that he was able to successfully play both NFL and Major League Baseball or in the National Football League and in Major League Baseball. Uh, I think it was at the same time as well, uh, which is pretty remarkable. I mean, you know, you think about the guys who have done that. Bo Jackson comes to mind, and he's also known as one of the, if not the greatest athlete that the NFL has ever seen. So uh, pretty remarkable stuff by Deion Sanders. You know, being able to play in the MLB and NFL at the same time is kind of insane to think about. But um, in terms of Madden, and, and people refer to Deion as arguably the greatest cornerback of all time, not just as, a, as an athlete. Um, you know, a two-time All-American at Florida State. He just continued his success and athleticism, uh, being able to showcase it on a bigger stage. And actually, uh, although 40 times are a little bit subject to some criticism because of the fact that electronic t uh, timers weren't, weren't really used um, prior to around late 1980s um, for the Combine. So, you know, his 40-yard his comb his, his dash is, you know, rumored to be around 4-2 which is pretty incredible because that's what John Ross just ran to break the all-time record, and Bo Jackson is rumored to have ran a 4-1-2, uh, which would obviously surpass John Ross. So that's just, you know, that just kind of talks about how fast Deion Sanders was uh, during the time he played. And one of the best cover, man, cover guys of all time, best cornerbacks in general, because of his ability to basically not allow anybody to outrun him. And his recovery speed is arguably, if not, you know, the best in NFL history, the fact that he made a lot of guys, and he talked about this, he talked kind of about how he almost lured, quarter, lured quarterbacks, or lured, I can't even say the word, but he, he tried to kind of tempt quarterbacks into actually throwing the ball his way by making it look as if he was a step behind, but he had such great recovery speed that he could make plays on the ball and, and force turnovers and get return touchdowns because of his uh, excellent playmaking ability after the interception. Uh, ended up having 53 total interceptions in his career as well. And in terms of Madden, um, Deion Sanders really, you know, he's been a, a, obviously a crazy player because of his speed, but also he, he played a little bit of wide receiver on some plays in Dallas, so he also kind of is crazy in that respect because you always want to get him an ultimate team for his speed. Um, but here we go with the equ equipment right here. Both have long sleeves on both arms, the long sleeve uh, jersey, uh, long sleeve Under Armour basically, white gloves, there's a l little bit of variety you can go with, you can go with a little bit of black, he did wear that as well, and some uh, bands around the elbows, and uh, a towel, medium, medium height socks, again I like the retro Nike uh, cleats look, the white, it's a lot of what those guys wear, ba wore basically during that time frame, you don't see a lot of the crazy cleats as you do. 
uh, in the modern times. And I juiced up a lot of his stats right here. You'll see in the ratings, I, I kind of you know go a little crazy on on some of them. And I, one stat I did decrease to make it a little bit more fair is I, I'm kind of making him look. I mean, he kind of was this good in some ways, but some of them not. So I did decrease his press rating to like an 82 at the very end of the video to kind of make it a little bit more balanced as, you know, Dion was subject to criticism, especially in areas of strength and tackling, which is what I really tried to focus on uh, decreasing around with, along with those power move, finesse move, block shed. Probably could have even lowered those a little bit to try and balance out his overall, but it is what it is. I thought he was, you know, an excellent player in his time, although... Uh, so, you know, some people, you know, criticize him for kind of the focus that he had more on how he looked in, you know, outside of, you know, more of the entertainment aspect of the game. Uh, although, you know, you could argue that sports is, you know, it is entertainment, but some people kind of think that he wasn't as focused as he should have been in some ways. Uh, you know, there was a conflict about the 49ers with Jerry Rice and Deion Sanders, Jerry Rice being the hardworking guy that he is. I'm not saying that Deion Sanders isn't hardworking, but the kind of crazy not even human like focus that Jerry Rice has on football uh, was you know conflicted with Deion Sanders own personality of kind of, of trying to live uh, you know trying to have a little bit of fun and Jerry Rice wasn't about that so you would think that that would create some conflict but San Francisco still ended up beating San Diego by like 20 plus points in that Super Bowl back in 94 if I'm not mistaken uh, so that just shows you how talented you know both those guys were and their teams uh, but you know, he is criticized for, you know, not having, you know, again, just like lo loving life and being able to do things outside of football uh, with a lot of excitement and joy. And, you know, he, he was using some music videos, um, you know, obviously playing baseball. He liked to do different things and uh, was still a phenomenal athlete and still definitely made it work in the NFL. Um, but, yeah, that is going to be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of these Madden NFL 17 player creation tutorial videos and for any Madden in the future. Uh, I like for these videos to really apply to any Madden in the future so that anybody can create them and I don't have to create recreate the player in each individual Madden game. And this was requested by a viewer, so again, feel free. I've always I've always said this at the end of all of my videos. Feel free to request what type of player you want me to do or what player you want me to do uh, for these player creation tutorial videos. Once again, hope you guys enjoy the video. And yep, thanks for watching.